Sevs Harkeli Aska Gitsner, Hay Jorti Paregamner, YouTube'i Aja Kortner, Hay Jorti Paregamner Manavant, Yev Manavant, Facebook'i Engerner, Parev Serpolori, Hay Sora Ster Destomek, Kamu Destekor, Yegergor, Hin Paregamner Mega, Pavagan Hin, Horame Mart Havana Parkajansna, Janin Albandian. Thank you, sir. Today we're going to talk Armenian and English. And German and uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something some a little. Chinese. Uh, we're gonna do something uh, yeah. make people happy. Okay. I'm gonna speak my pilaf in. Okay. Why not? Which means mixed up, Eastern uh, and Western mixed. Right. And then bitte kurz him New Jersey on the end. So you're gonna get a good variety out of me today. So shout out to the link. Love Shamanak with you and us. Yep, I think New Jersey became like uh, Glendale. It's caused the people of New Jersey, lots of Armenians there, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I tell you. Uh, when my parents came in 1944, they actually, because it was during World War II, they came from India. They lived in Bombay, India two years, the last two years of their escape from Stalin. And uh, you know what? I got to tell you, they didn't go to Ellis Island. They went to San Pedro, and my dad really wanted to stay in California, but he had to go to New Jersey because of my uncle, oh. who came here, escaped the genocide, and came here. He was a Vanetsi. Oh. He escaped the genocide. He went uh, Kodak Hamar. Mm. Okay, and uh, Kodak uh, uh was a big company till many years. I know, of course. Yeah, it was an awesome uh, company, and uh, he sponsored my dad to come, and this was 1944 in December. Wow. If you can believe it, during uh, World War II. And you were born in New Jersey? I was born in New Jersey. Yeah. You're typical American then. Yeah, each shot saying. <laughs> I was born in one of the original 13 colonies. Wow. But uh, anyway, I love your new studio. I love that you have brought Armenian Teletime back, <laughs> Armenian Classic TV. Yeah. Guys out there, do me a favor. You're going to love it. I'm loving it, every second of it. I've watched every program he's done live. I've watched the past, brought back a lot of good memories. Like our Facebook page. Armenian Classic TV, and also what you need to do is get over to YouTube and press subscribe. We're at almost 600 people right now. We need to get him up to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. This man deserves it. This man, <laughs> well, I know him since 1964 when I was nine years old. Now, don't do the math, okay? And he played with a band that was one of the only Armenian bands here. And remember, when we came here from New Jersey, Hi, my Chikar, Shot Kitsch, Shot Kitsch. They have, uh, you know, so I got to tell you, uh, we came here, and then my sister got married in 64, mm -hmm. and there was a few bands, as I was saying earlier, and one of the bands was the High Tone Band, and Saki was the head of the High Tone Band, mm -hmm. which was actually an awesome band. They played modern Armenian, they played international, all kinds of songs, and I'm a 9, 10 year old kid and I'm even dancing uh -huh. at my sister Rita's wedding yeah. so anyway you know what you know when talking about the band that particular time maybe you remember most of the weddings that were playing one side was either Ar Armenian the other side American vice versa sometimes the bride is Armenian the groom is not sometimes the groom is Armenian like it was always mixed usually was a very, very few times Armenian and Armenian. Kind of like uh, my big, big fat Greek wedding, huh? Yeah. You know, when it's all done yeah, with the that, Greek. It was all done, really. It, there was no banquet rooms and hotels and uh, sometimes church halls. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It was no 
uh, no, it's like uh, the church hall. Yeah, like like my uh, sister's wedding was on Largemont. Yeah, I forget the name of the hall. I, know, I, I think it was the Greek upstairs, hall upstairs. upstairs. Yeah. You remember the Largemont yeah. Large Hall? Yeah, yeah. That was the name of it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, unbelievable that I know you from 1964. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know what? I'm going to turn things around on you today. You called me over here to interview you. Of course. Okay? Of course. But you know what? Okay. My life next to yours, you, to me, are an Armenian icon. You <laughs> uh, saved a lot of young Armenians. And let me tell you, there was nothing like 10 o'clock Sunday morning, okay? 10 o'clock Sunday morning, I had to have my basturma and eggs, my sujuk and eggs, by the way, with feta cheese in it, okay? And watch Armenian telecom. Uh, well, that was, yeah. And you know, blood blood pressure and then I remember you went on a, a rant about uh, about people smoking because you know one thing about us Armenians we like our tobacco and uh, and you and I learned zakhachot. So there was a lot of words, uh, and believe it or not, my kids uh, used a lot of your commercials. <laughs> that was the best. Well, <laughs> but we'll get into that in a minute. What so I'm going to turn this whole thing around on you. I'm at your studio. Uh, I'm on your show, uh, but I'm going to interview okay. you. One, one thing about commercials, before we go back, point to talk about, when we started the commercials the first time, Lots of grocery stores they used to come and advertise. Yeah. One time somebody came, it was it was Levon or whatever, he gave me the list, tomato, patates, this that. And he says, Al Shapat, special ring, Buster Mai, Kilo direct dollar. The pound, oh, uh, the pound. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna imitate okay, you. Silver Baron Levon, television ever amote buster much as fish. Which is starting now, you know, like 79. Master Ma, what is Master Ma? Abai Jesa, what is Sir Abucht? Savicha Abucht, Chemkider, Sabucht, Tichsele. If Abucht says, make a chicken there, Chenkar, Cherar there, I'm a market, I go Paha in Covengar, the Master Ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't know that like, Abucht was Master Ma. Those kind of things were. I, I know, that's the Armenian word for it, the real Armenian Abuch, word. Abuch. Uh, Basturma is, I hate Turkish. to say it, Turkish. Turkish. Yes, it is. Oh, God. I, I, there's so many uh, words that, like, when I speak Armenian, in Pilav Hayrenes, or Kharnumem Ruseren. That's okay. Kharnumem Ruseren, Kharnumem. Uh, I guess Turkeren, and I don't know yet that Turkeren. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, it's so communication. <laughs> it's communication. You have communication. That's what's important. Yeah. You know. Otherwise, what are you going to say? Why are we going to talk? You know, Saki Arcel Shapat, you had some very dear friends of mine that I've known almost as long as I've known you. Uh, Barbara and John yeah, Chukasian. Yeah. Yeah, Chukasian. and uh, I watched every part of the show <laughs> but I gotta be honest this is why I'm telling you to get over to YouTube subscribe, you gotta watch these shows I got shivers John mentioned because John's uh, East Coaster like me John mentioned the Vaughn Hotel <laughs> and my grandparents on my mother's side were Vonitzies yeah that escaped the genocide, okay? My grandmother on a horse. Uh -huh. And I gotta admit, a Turkish family helped her get across the border, mm -hmm. uh, the Russian border. And that's why my mom was born in Yerevan. But they mentioned the Vanak Hotel. That was my grandparents' hangout, sorry. Wow. I mean, what a memory, I swear uh -huh. to God. Marminas, uh -huh. well, Marminas Push Pushegov, okay? Uh, back. Comes back to you all the memories. Oh, it, it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. So anyway, that's why I'm trying to push people. Yeah. They will love it huh? to go on your YouTube channel. A lot of exciting things going to be coming up and go from there. Now, you asked me uh, when I was born, kind of, yeah. you know, because we got people doing the math. I was nine years old, 1964, my daughter's okay. wedding. I mean, not my daughter, my sister's wedding. Trust, yeah. Anyway. 
going back, I'd like to know about you a little more. Well, I know a lot about you, but there's some things I'm missing. Well, and again, an icon, a man that has done great, great things for the Armenian community. The guy who has brought one of the first movies, guy that's brought the first television station. And let me tell you, it's not easy working with our own people. Trust me on that. Okay? <laughs> well, Trust yeah. me. And, you know, I remember his Teletime studio was down the street from my North Hollywood seafood plant. Yes. And his car was there early in the morning. His car was there late at night. Worked very hard. So anyway, I want to backtrack a little bit. Okay. What year did you come to America, and where did you live, you and your well, wife, uh, Kathy? Well, I, I came to America 1956 with Columbus. With Columbus? <laughs> I like that. And I was as a student. With uh -huh. Four years at East Coast, Boston, and so forth. Oh, so you lived in Boston yeah, originally? For four years. I noticed a lot of the people yeah. that came from Beirut, yeah. they landed in Boston. Yes. For example, my Konamis, yeah. okay? They landed in Boston. It was, a, especially it was a town. I, I was at South Boston first, and I moved to Watertown, which was Armenian town, sort of. Oh, I know. Watertown. Hey, let, let, let's say this. We have something in common. My godfather, uh, Yerjanik Safoyan, Dr. Safoyan, beautiful man, okay, beautiful man. He lived in Watertown. Yeah. And when we were kids, we used to go, they used to come to Jersey, you know, the tri-states there. And, and so you lived, how many years did you live in Watertown? It was a nice, yeah. Watertown was a nice town. Yeah, it was three years because I was in South Boston about a year. Yeah. I moved to Watertown three years, four years. Then I came to California, 1960. And I came to this jungle, 1960, and stayed there. One more thing in common. Okay. I came in December 59. Mm -hmm. my parents. Yes. December 59, yeah. and then you came. Yes. So you followed me. What? That was a kid. Yeah, that's all right. But, but unbelievable. Yeah. So, uh, quite a bit. So what else in, in, in Boston? So you came, what made you come to, as you call it, Hollywood? Yeah. That's how this guy well, announces you know, Hollywood. First, I came with the student's visa to come to Boston, where I came. Yeah. Exchange a student for musical purpose. I was going to Conservatory of Music in New England. New England Conservatory of Music oh. in, in Boston. But I wanted to make films, actually. That was my dream. That was your dream. In uh, uh, wait, let me ask you this. Uh, okay. okay. I mean, like, well, since I was a kid, when I was a kid, all the neighbors, the neighbor kids they used to come, I made a box and put a lens on it were from battery. Yeah. And broken films I used to put in. And I had a phonograph with a disc, classical music. Yeah. And I used to put a film, little film, little screen, blurry, and I used to talk. Here, uh, you know, like I'm showing a movie. I was interested in movies. Then later, I got the newspapers. I used to cut the cartoons and stick them together, make it like a long. Uh, how, how old were you? Well, I was. I was. Uh, Maybe 10, 12, 13, 14, always I was in 10, 12. But later on. You, you know, it's funny. Uh, one more thing in common. When I was five years old, uh, I wanted to go into politics. I just fell in love you had Mr. With, politics. with our <laughs> founding fathers and everything. Uh, and story for another day, uh, I ended up selling dead fish at 19. Uh, but we'll go back to that. Well, anyway, anyway, go. Uh, anyway, you know, very, later on. Uh, I, when I wanted to do that, in the same time, my mother was pushing me to start music. Oh, okay. Uh, she loved music. Music. And there was an Italian crippled guy who used to teach oh, me. Oh, I love Italian music. Yeah, he, was, he was coming teaching me violin. Yeah. You used to bring on your show a lot some Italian music. Yeah. I love it. Uh, and yeah. also, <laughs> funny, uh, 
how much she was paying dollars. She was paying a dollar thirty cents American money yeah. for the lesson. I see. Yeah. Anyway, I went to advance ahead. I I had another professor, which later on, Varush Khojan. Yeah. He became famous in Lebanon. He was at the same school yeah. with me. But I didn't like the classical music. I like I like more modern continental music. I see. I, I divorced like a, with Armenian with a European yeah, player. And later on, I yeah. clarinet, yeah. And guitar. You know, like. Well, I'm one one thing I noticed: your band uh, uh, played a major variety. Yes. You played old-fashioned Armenian music. You played uh, Italian, uh, French, yes. uh, Greek. Greek. I, I remember all of it. Yeah, we used to play. Like it was yesterday. I, I had an excellent violin player. Yeah. She was so good. You know, during the, like at the banquet, when at wedding, this and that, we used to play listening music, like chamber music, when they're eating. Very calm, laws. And this guy was playing classical music. People, they stand up, applaud. Like, no kidding. Yeah, like, was such a... And also, I had another guy... Well, what instruments do you play right now? I saw you playing the oud. No, what I'm doing, the guitar, the guitar I'm covered into a wood. This is I the, love this instrument. Yeah. Well, it's got to be repaired. But anyway, uh, so when I came here, I went to a theater of arts to learn how to make movies you know yeah that helped me a lot because i had lots of connection to the school and i started working on american movies before because but in beirut in america every, so you kind of concentrated on american yes. movies and every time in beirut i used to go three times at a week to see a movie every wednesday saturday and sometimes sunday yeah because every saturday and wednesday and saturday armenian school has, was a half a day until noon in the afternoon was off yeah I, I used to movies and one time my friend used to come with me i was watching a film with jack palance in the movie shot in san francisco oh right. jack palance was a great actor yeah well oh he was he was he was awesome we worked with him yeah anyway i looked i said mardo he was was he part armenian no he's uh slavic oh slavic yeah okay anyway uh i said see this guy he's a nice actor so what do you want to say? He said, you always get a desk of He said, one day I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm going to get a movie and he's going to be in it. So why are you talking about? Are you crazy? Are you dreaming? Uh -huh. You know, it happened. I came here. I was at Golden Studios. One of our neighbors wanted to make a movie. So your dream was to come to Hollywood. And what happened? He was casting. He wanted me to take care of the movie. Who walks in? Jack Palance walked in, in the office. I looked, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I told him, Jack, you know, I want to tell you something. What? I told him what happened. And in Beirut, I was looking, I saw you and so forth. I shook his hand. I had tears on my eyes. You know? Wow. I mean, I, I couldn't believe what I said it happened. So. Uh, so the saying "dreams are made in Hollywood" I don't know. is a true statement. Uh, some of I, I, I heard that from a few people. Yeah, that, you know, uh, all all this time I met seven. I should have met twenty because of the civil war of Lebanon. Yeah, it was our market there. I mean, if I tell you, I, I told some of it to the people. What happened in Lebanon with tears of happiness, the opening, and what results never happened in the history of Armenian people. The opening after that showing in the theater, two, three theaters every day, three times a day for weeks and weeks and weeks held over. You know what? Uh, like I said, uh, most every Armenian that lived here has seen Tears of Happiness, has seen most of your movies, yeah. but relive them again. I'm telling you, they're on the YouTube. That's what I'm doing, you know, and I'm really enjoying it. You kind of get myself away from the politics, and I kind of go through it, and I remember some old days. Now, let's go in chronological order. Now you're in Hollywood. Okay. Let's go in chronological order of see what was your first movie. I, I know the answer, but I want the audience to no, hear from you. Movie because I all, I all, no, I all, no, 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 no. Huh? It could be international, whatever. No, no. We also did American movies. Yeah, go ahead. Tell yeah, us. Like, the first movie was Dead of Blood. 
the, the Blaru na Barda, which I played. That was your, your first Armenian yeah, movie. Then I played in it. Uh, what was your first Odar movie? Odar movie, A Way of Life. A Way of Life. A a way of life? life. And I made why, why don't you guys post? Can you guys post that on uh, your YouTube channel? Well, I got to find that. I don't know that the distributor had it. We'll get busy. Find it. We want to see well, it. Uh, that might be cool. Then later, the agency... Was, uh, well, your first Armenian uh, movie, yeah. Hayrena of Ishpetsayin Asum? Aruna Barda. Ar Aruna Barda. Death of Blood. That sounds very strong. That's that's from a book from uh, Avedis Aharonian. Right Ayo. It was called Ayrunit Saina. Ayrunit Saina. Yeah. We made it Aruna Barda. Death of Blood. You know, it, it's movie nera for each equipment nera uh, They're decent quality. Still. Well, it was thirty-five millimeter, uh, regular crew, everything. You know? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I uh, I watched it again. I saw it years ago. Tariner arach desarem, but noren naetsa. So okay, Arunabad it was arachit moving it. Yegro, what was your second movie? Badasarakbar. Oh yeah, with uh, Agop Derbevatian. I went to school with his daughter. Yeah. In Ferayan High School. You're from Ferayan, you should know, yeah. Yeah. Baghdad Sarakhbar. I the... used to love his mustache. When we were yeah. kids, Baghdad... we loved his uh, bicycle mustache. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Baghdad Sarakhbar is a stage play, actually. I converted to a movie. Yeah. Did a little change here and there to fit it like yeah. a movie. Because what's in Baghdad Sarakhbar, I like it. The story, the... Every, but it's a tragedy. Actually, it's a tragedy. Actually, when you take analyze the movie, it's a tragedy. Yeah, the bad things were happening to the guy. Yeah, everybody cheating, lying. Yeah, unfaithful. What, what else is new, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I know it's it's happening today. Same thing. I'm telling you. Yeah, that that story never ends. That later on, which was I didn't believe it's going to be. But another another secret I'm going to tell you. Yerchang Tian Ar Sukner, what I made, I had to write it very fast. The songs I needed six, seven songs in it because the guy who was going to play, he had the music. Uh -huh. He didn't. He did act. He was in Beirut. He didn't call me. I wanted him. He's a singer. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't want to give his name. But what happened? It bothers me. I made the movie. In the movie. The, mo the song up to now, everybody sings from Armenia to here is number one. Armin, series of happiness. Oh, I, I mean, okay. hey, uh, I sing it in the shower. Well, now you, I confess, yeah. in the shower. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> you watch the film, you don't see the singer singing that song. Yeah. Just on the titles. When the titles, they come, Ayo. starring, the, he sings. But, but let, the, let me ask you a question. Yes, he should be Baghdad Akbar, no, yer kuner. Baghdad Akbar, yer kincher. Well, it's a, uh, all the old fashioned Armin style song. Baghdad Akbar, Baghdad Akbar. Very happy song. Yeah. Very festive. But, okay, so. You did the uh, Dead of Blood, Bagra Sarakbar. Uh, Next was Tears of Happiness. No, and tears after Tears of Happiness was Sons of Sassoon. Look what this guy has done. Well, that, no, 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 no. Two wait, version, two wait, version of Sons of Sassoon. Wait, hold the, hold on a second. Uh, let's l let me back up. So Dead of Blood. Yes. Bagra Sarakbar. Yes. Tears of Happiness. Tears of Happiness. Yes. Okay. And Sons of Sassoon. And then Sons of Sassoon? Sassoon, two versions, the English version and the Armenian. I catered yeah. for all the movie stars. Yeah. I had At the time, I had a retail store with a deli yeah. in uh, Sherman Oaks, and I catered for all your uh, movie stars. Oh. They ate good, okay? Oh. I fed them good. Oh. But uh, I remember that time. So, we're up to Tears of Happiness, okay. and number one hit, Yevchanguchan Artukneta. Set over through Nzi David. I practiced it before I came here in the shower. Anyway, and then after Tears of Happiness, Sons of Sassoon, that was uh, that was great too. Yeah, Sons of Sassoon. And you know who my favorite actor there was? You you know who I'm going to say. Peter Laurie Jr. Yeah, yeah. Shishkun. Yeah, yeah. Shishkun. I love that. Yeah. 
Is you know, that, I like he, I like chubby people. You he, can tell. He claims you that know? he was the son of Peter Lorre. The cute chubby like me. Huh? You remember Peter Lorre, the father? Of course. A very famous actor. Of course. And, yeah. and he kind of looked like his father. Yeah. That, he, kind of. Such, some people, they say it's a fake, but I don't know. <laughs> no, but he's, he's he, he, I got to tell you this. Uh, he acted good. Shish Kun. He was the, you know? for the part, yeah. Yeah, he, for the part, he was perfect. Yeah. I mean, you know, you're casting. Yeah, stupid. You're casting. <laughs> was excellent and then you had Kenny on there uh, I know Kenny for 50 60 years too uh, you know, oh, shit. and I'm only 27 with 40 years experience he was one Unbelievable. of the Fedais, uh, huh? one of the Fedais, Kenny. oh yeah Kenny was one of the Fedais. that's right hey if I was a Turk and I saw him coming my way I'd get very scared <laughs> <laughs> well you know talking about the Turk when we're casting Dead of Blood the first movie there was no Armenians here when you hear somebody's talking, I mean, oh, hiring kids, who's that film we mentioned last year, son? For which movie? Aruna uh, Bardo. Oh, oh, okay. Anyway, we find a couple of guys to play Kurd, Turk, uh, yeah. so forth. The guy comes and says, no, no, I don't want to play Kurd. I don't want to play Turk. Are we? We gave you a chance to it's be in the movie. movie. It's a movie. Anything I do, you want me to sweep the floor, yeah. I do wash the dishes, but I don't want to play Turk or Kurd. Can you yeah. We had a hard time to cast the movie. Yeah. No, I can understand that. Well, I mean, imagine. You know, Chatin Aden. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Well, it's okay. So then Sons of Sassoon, yeah. after that, uh, Promise of Promise, Love. Yeah. Siro Kostumner. You know, in fact, that was my debut. I was in that movie uh, twice. One time, walking in the park, uh, okay? Uh, and at another time, at uh, party, dancing at a party. Uh, yeah. You know? That's my, my favorite movie, you know? Uh, yeah. So long. It's very heavy drama, like it's... Uh, it was excellent drama. Yeah, it is. Outstanding. Again, you can watch it on YouTube, folks. Go over there, subscribe, and watch... Uh, Promise of Love on YouTube. I don't know, have you posted that yet? Yes, I'll tell you about Promise of Love. In 1979, when I read the movie in Lebanon, they were showing yeah. the Lebanese motion picture, uh, whatever the office, whatever their organization, yeah. they submitted to Academy Award as a film of Lebanese film. Yeah. And here, the Academy Award collects all the movies comes from all over the country, like foreign movies, over 40, 50 movies. Yeah. They take, they pick up 20 of them, and from 20, they cut it down. It was one of the 20s. You know what happened? They were digesting, looking at it, looking, looking. They look at the promise of love to collect. It's got to be five left over from five, one of them leave, wins. And they look to, to the movie. There is no Arabic word in it, not, not in any one word. It's all Armenian. Bravo. And But the, the law says that by, by officially it should be the speaking the language of the country. Otherwise, it's not accepted. See? I, I, at least 85% 80, of the language should be the language of the country. They submit the film. You, you know what's really uh, turns me on? Because... Yeah. I'm a very passionate person. In fact, uh, in, the, in, in the political world, they call me passionate patriot, mm -hmm. okay? And whenever you talk about your movies, I'm looking at you right here, there's a sparkle <laughs> in your eyes. Wow. I don't know if you could all see that out wow. there, but he's, his eyes are sparkling. <laughs> and, and I got to tell you a funny story about <laughs> Promise of Love. Yeah. And it has to do with my mother, <laughs> who, folks, was naturally funny. This woman, without knowing, she'd crack people up. Now, the grandfather in the movie yes. was my father-in-law. Okay. Yeah, that's, that does seem like my father-in-law. Yeah. He was in the movie with yeah. the baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. this and that. That was my father-in-law. And he he was casted perfectly too. Yeah. He makes a great grandfather. Yeah. God rest his soul, yeah. uh, Baron Alexander. You know. Anyway, we're at the premiere. Everybody's into the movie. We're sitting at the premiere. Yeah. My mom's there, and it, we got like front row seats because uh, I, I know some people. <laughs> anyway, so we're sitting in the front row. All of a sudden, the part 
and it's quiet. The movie theater's quiet. Everybody's into the movie. And all of a sudden, my father-in-law comes up, and my mother says, Bye. Out loud, so I mean, she's she's cheering him on, you know. So I mean, oh, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Hey, by the way, I fed the troops then too. Uh, this guy, I was like I said, I sold dead fish all my life, seafood. I went to seafood business since 19 years old, and this guy, big shrimp eater. <laughs> he could eat 20, 30, 40 yeah. shrimp. Boom! Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, but anyway. You had the best shrimp store. Yeah. yeah. So now we move the fast forward. When did you open uh, Armenian Teletime? Well, I said 1960s, late 60s, middle 60s. You did a little the trial. Armenian Time, it was called Armenian Time. Armenian Time. And black and white that time. Yeah. And we started on channel 44. Uh huh. It, it was no cable then. Yeah. It was just cable. Just antenna. Then, then later we went to channel 22. Yeah. But because no commercials, no that, and I was involved in movies, I had to stop it because, you know, it was difficult to run the TV show and uh, films and this and that, and no, no income coming. Yeah. I said, to hell with it. Then we waited, the, the movie's going on. And the civil war started in Lebanon. Yeah. Our market was killed. Motion picture market was dead over here in the States. You got a rented theater, you got a four wallet, you got to advertise, this and that. All the money comes, goes to advertising and expenses. Very little money. Oh, starts. and people didn't realize you had expenses. Yeah, of course. And it's like right. when they walk into a restaurant, for example, uh, a lot of my friends, uh, and I've supplied restaurants all my life, and a lot of my friends own restaurants. The margins are thin, paper thin. Uh, and especially your your business as well the margins are thin by the time you put out all the expenses if you have five ten percent left you're a lucky man that is that's the way it was am i right yeah the only the only thing, good thing was that, that the investors getting their money back which was okay yeah you know that, that made you feel and i'm doing everything editing cutting lab work yeah i mean i was doing everything so that wasn't the expenses yeah you know well, the so then the uh, second Armenian Teletime, correct me if I'm wrong, 7980, right? 77, 78, 78, 79. Oh. 78, 79. The late 78 into 79. So your best uh, years yeah. with Armenian Teletime were the 80s, correct? Yes. So we had hey, We had Reagan in the White House. We had Duke Majin as our governor. Yes. We were rocking and rolling. Did you ever interview uh, Governor Dukmajian? Of course, interviewed so many times. Uh, hey, I, have, I have even a picture with him. Oh, beautiful. I mean, uh, we, were, we interviewed his mother. You know, you know what? Mother. I was so excited when he threw his name in the hat. Uh, so excited. As an American Armenian uh, born here, he became the governor and one of our best governors, by the way, of twice, California. Twice, twice it was elected. He twice yeah. elected. Yeah. He was an American Armenian conservative, yeah. kind of like me. Yeah. But anyway, going back to Teletime, yeah. uh, so the 80s were your best year for it was, I mean, Teletime. All the way through. Then in 90s, we started 24 hour. It was for start. One hour, then Saturday and Sunday, three hours. Yeah. Then every night we had cables going around. We had 17 years. So in you Fresno. expanded. Yeah, 17 years in Fresno. That's how Chukasian knows me. I remember Fresno. that. Then in San Francisco, we had uh, yeah. a channel there like we did because it was no cable, no satellite, nothing. Everything we had to produce. Then until we started the 24 hour here, yeah. then became more busy, like busy here. Yeah. And, you know, we could start at 30, 35 years. Then later on, where I was your was, was your first studio near my seafood plant in North Hollywood, or was no, that your second was, one? No, it was first at Verdugo and all this somewhere in Burbank. I see. That's where we. No, no, you didn't say Burbank, right? Yeah, Burbank. Oh, <laughs> George, yeah. yeah. We started anyway. there about a year. 
Yeah. And we moved to North Hollywood. What year did you move to North Hollywood? Uh, 80, I think, 80. 80. You're not going to believe this. Yeah. One more thing in common. We were like three blocks away. No, before we moved there, the Sherman Way, we were on Van Owen and uh, Woodman. Well, I remember that studio as well. Van Owen and Woodman. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that studio as yeah. well. Yeah. But we have something else in common. I moved from Sherman Oaks, my business, to North Hollywood. Mm. Like I said, six, seven blocks from you. Yeah, what? You know, hey, a funny story about his North Hollywood on Sherman Way uh, location. Yeah. A real, I gotta, I gotta jog your memory here, yeah. okay? Because. On the side, you're a bit of a character. Maybe on TV, you know, you try to leave the comedy to somebody else. Oh, yeah. But on the side, you're a bit of a character. Anyway, one time they were going to do a party at Armenian Telecom Studio. Anyway, uh, Saki used to have on the wall, and I complimented him the time before I went there. He had a picture on top of... Uh, it was a uh, cartoon uh, of Hitler, okay. and it says Hurya Aspan. Hurya Aspan, yeah. Hurya Aspan. Yeah. Then it said, then you had a picture of Tala Pasha, and it said Hi Aspan. Hi Aspan. Then you had a picture of uh, Colonel Sanders, yeah. and I got the biggest kick out of it, Havaspa. Havaspa, yeah. So the next time I went there, I saw a cartoon of me, and it said, Sugatspan. <laughs> it was just hilarious, yeah. you know? It was just, yeah. uh, he's a character, okay? Well, uh, now, um, when you went um, in North Hollywood, okay, uh, how long were you in there till you opened the 24 hours and really expanded? Well, you got to figure out uh, which part of North Hollywood. I'm uh, talking to Sherman Way. Sherman Way, yeah. We stayed there uh, about seven years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then the, we moved on victory with somewhere because of the signal. We had a signal uh -huh. to shoot to the mountain. Oh, I with, see. For the 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, victory had a lot of... Yeah. I used to go do a radio show there. Yeah. I used to go on twice a week. It was like a supermarket show on Wednesdays. I'd appear for 15 minutes mm -hmm. as Mr. Seafood, kind of give a report on what's in season and all that stuff. Yeah. And then on Saturdays, I'd appear on a restaurant show, and we'd talk about, and this was a KGIL station uh very good station and it was right near there by the mountains where you get good yeah. reception yeah. and i used to go on a show called the larry lipson show and it was about where to go eat and what's in season when you're looking at the menu yeah. so i used to give them kind of a rundown you know something we've been talking about my meat let's talk about you a little bit can we? Yeah, you, we sure can. First of all, well, Mr. Producer, yeah. who happens to be, who happens to be my campaign director, yes. who happens to be your grandson, well, who happens to be the producer of this show. Yes, and he's doing a great job. And he's doing a great job. In fact, yeah. let's give him a raise. <laughs> hey, we need the sign-ups. Yeah. We need to get our producer a raise. Go to YouTube. Sign up for Armenian Classic TV. Mr. Producer, would you put the link so people could see where to go? Yeah, well, after we're done, he'll do it. Anyway, you want to talk about me? Yeah, I know. We've been talking a lot. Well, let me, let me finish yeah. you then. Okay. So... I, I, I see, so being in North Hollywood, I wanted to get to your advertisements, few of them, right. okay? I don't want to miss any cities. Right. I don't want to hurt anybody's right. feelings. If that is still in We place. would do, this guy would do advertisements that were absolutely awesome. <laughs> and again, my Basturma and eggs, my Sujuk and eggs, and all that good stuff, I would be watching this religiously. And... A lot of people, when an advertisement comes up, they get up to go to the restroom. Uh, <laughs> I would stay, <laughs> you know. But uh, anyway, there's about five cities that he would announce. 
Pasadena. <laughs> he'd, he'd announce a score there. He says, you can go to Pasadena. And then the next one, Burbank. <laughs> Am I imitating you good? No, it's fine. Okay, let's take it. Purposely done, of course. And then Hollywood. Uh, everybody knows that. And then Glendale. <laughs> but it, it's really funny. And then there was a fortune teller. Yeah. Which is still there. Uh, yeah. Dean Garfield. Garfield, yeah. Yete Uzumek. Long time, 30 years. Yete Uzumek. Peace Achen. Herumarak. Kanak Pasadena. Dean Garfield. Now, one last story about your advertisements. Okay. My son went to Demijan High School, okay, Armenian High School. And he was the class character, okay? He, uh, and, you know, during his Armenian study, he was, you know, joking around and stuff. And the teacher got, now, you used to advertise for, be, God rest his soul, Vigen Berjikian. Yes. Who happened to be a good lawyer, uh-huh. okay? And uh, anyway, so you used to say, and then uh, and then what was that store Avakani Mort Avakani that was a very and then I changed it to Amenen Lat Tsuga Urdeen Luka now Bandi Ani Mort anyway uh, so um, you used to advertise being in Benji if you're in trouble you ask somebody, yeah. So anyway, my son, Johnny, Johnny three, uh, my son, he would, he, like I said, be a character. So one day the teacher said, no time to joke. Johnny, enough. Okay. He didn't stop. Enough. Okay. He says, Finally, he was very respectful, and this teacher was a little bit uh, in a bad mood, and says, what are you going to do? Each for the honest. You know? He didn't tell her, shut up. He said, please, quiet to the teacher. I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you, he's telling He says, my son looks at her and says, Yes, sim pasta bonnets with the gunchen. We get very cut. And he picked that up from you. Yeah. <laughs> I just want you to know that. I'm going to tell you about Berjikian. It was a friend of ours who used to work with us installing antennas, you know, he yeah. was an expert. He has a little boy. And one time we asked him, Yet the mess not sich was a lal. It's not Berjikian. He, he thinks Berjikian is pasta pan. Yeah. He thinks it's a lawyer. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Berjikian. Yeah. Well, you, well, you would do that. You had like the grocery, Avak Yanimut. Uh, then you would have Berjikian. Yes, Pirigan Chem, Mim Pas Babaris, Vigan Berjikian. And then I used to get a kick out of the Western yeah. drugs and commercials. Uh, they were great. Yeah, well, anyway. Another funny one was Le- Valbreso cheese, was very funny. Oh, that was a good one, too. Yeah, that was a classic. That, well, thanks for reminding me yeah. of that. <laughs> Valbrezzo. <laughs> Valbrezzo. I mean, he, he, he kind of jazzed it up. Now, one last commercial. Okay. Bejan Grocery, 6575 Santa Monica Boulevard. Sujuk, Basturma, Feta Cheese, 299 a pound. Wow! <laughs> that was one of your best. Uh, anyway, uh, anyway, now you want to talk about right. me. First of all, who's Johnny Nalbandian? Uh, who's Johnny Nalbandian? Uh, the one and only? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, the way we know, you're a fanatic Republican, right? I'm a conservative. Conserv- well, whatever. I'm a, no, I'm a conservative because everyone in the Republican Party uh, is not conservative. No. I'm a constitutional conservative okay. running as a Republican. We have a two-party system. I'm not a big party guy, okay? No, no, I mean, there is uh, the Republicans and Democrats, right? No, party. no, but each, each party, party has, has, their, uh, has their caucuses. Oh. I, I belong to the conservative wing of the party. Oh, I see. Uh, which I call myself a constitutional conservative. 
okay? And uh, when people ask me, what are you? I say, I'm a, constitu I'm a constitutional conservative. No, 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 no. What party are you going to run? Kind of like what you're saying. I'm a constitutional conservative running as a Republican. Okay, running as a Republican. Now, and, and the same goes for people that are moderates in our party, people uh, that are uh, way out there. I don't consider myself way out there. I just like this country run as the founders intended it to be. Mm. I think it's this country, why my parents ran here, you ran here, mm -hmm. and uh, is one of the greatest inventions on earth. Well, I'll tell you something. Some people, they don't know, I didn't know either. either. I learned later, when we come from overseas to the States here, yeah. We come to a democratic country, right? The yeah. government system. But we're not a democratic no, no. country. This is a mistake. Uh, well, you, yeah. you explain later. Anyway, now they get confused between democratic and democrat. Yeah. Democrat is party. Yeah. Democratic is system. Correct. We, they get confused. Yeah. But this is a democratic country. Then I'm a democrat. Yeah. This, you know how they get confused? And you know what? The Democrat Party confused you they marketed it that way well anyway but uh i don't know they gotta because armenian culture armenian background armenian system is more republican than democrat yeah we're more conservative yeah it is yeah but armenian they, families are conservative but they don't know they run away from uh socialism they come in they adopt socialism yeah. I don't well know. we'll like, see the the democrat party is also split but the strongest part of the party is left, which is more towards socialism, okay? Uh, and they've gone way... Look, the days of Kennedy, Truman, uh, I like those guys. I, uh, they, were, they were good. But, but today, they've gone so far to the left, which means towards socialism marxism socialism is no different it is is like marxism call it whatever you want it's marxism as far as i'm concerned but anyway getting out of politics uh that's kind of our party's split also we have our moderates which a lot of people call the rhinos. I don't like to call them rhinos. I call them pseudo-republicans. I feel everyone in the Republican Party should be a conservative. Okay? Yeah. And, and like I said, the Armenian community could live much better under conservatism. We are conservative, actually. Uh, we are. Yeah. We are. Yeah. But... But Bonin, you know, a lot of these people, what they do, and this is all I want to say about politics, but I didn't want to go there. Uh, a lot of these people, what they do, they come in March on April 24th, once a year, and they uh, use to get to the Armenian's heart, uh, okay? And they about to kill them with that. To me, what I want what a conservative wants, I want Western Armenia back. I could care less if they said anything about the uh, genocide. I want Western Armenia back, what belongs to us. My parents, as I told you, my grandparents were Vonetsi, okay? And to me, words, action speaks louder than words. And when they use this thing, they march on April 24th, and they get up, and they try to uh, speak a few words in Armenian, by car, by car, Micheverch. Okay, it offends me, to be honest with you. Our country, President Reagan, President Reagan recognized our genocide in 1981 or 80 or 81. Okay, he recognized our genocide. So, why do we have to recognize it every year? What we should be putting our efforts towards is holding on to Armenia, which we have now, and trying to get Western Armenia back. That's been my childhood dream. As I told you earlier, my grandparents on my mom's side were Vonetsis. And my, in fact, you know, something in the seafood business, funny how I ended up, my grandfather was a freshwater fisherman in Lake Vaughan. Can you believe that? Yeah. And I end up in the seafood industry. <laughs> but anyway, 
Uh, so you asked, who's Johnny Nalbanyan? I'm not only in um, politics was my first love. Uh, like I said, I uh, enjoyed it. When I say enjoyed it, I loved history. I loved um, I loved uh, the founding fathers. In those days, we said the Pledge of Allegiance every day. I just was fascinated with history and politics, and I'll tell you why, when I fell in love with it. I saw the Kennedy-Nixon debates on live Rabbit Ear TV, black and white, and I'm sitting here, Grandpa is here, Dad is here, my father, Papa says that. You have, from that day, I thought it's Sargis, Sirar Vetsa, Politiki head, you have, uh, but, uh, okay, so yes, I can consider myself American Armenian patriot. I like, I like considering myself wow. as that because I don't know if you know this about me, but I started the youth movement in California in the 60s for free independent Armenia. To me, that was the most important thing. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stories on that. But, since five years old, I was fascinated by history politics. Okay? Like I said, my mom, naturally funny. She'd say to people, Im Johnny's, Gija, what is she on there? Yogi Bear, Boo Boo and Naum, Mickey Mouse, Flintstone, Esther and Politic History, History, Politic, Kishverem, you know? So uh, she says, uh, so anyway, I was supposed to run in my, uh, not when I, in my 20s, okay? <clears throat> but we had a family tragedy, which I'll go over some other time, where my dad, was really down. We lost, uh, just to let you know, we lost a sister at 26 years old to multiple sclerosis. So what happened is uh, dad didn't want to work. In our case, it was really a cloudiest time in our history. Right. My dad almost jumped into the grave with my sister. To lose a child is something else it and, is, it is and god rest his soul god rest yeah. my sister's soul and uh so anyway i had to quit politics i started working uh i started i worked full-time going to high school 10 at night to 7 in the morning at food giant market had breakfast then we'll go to Ferayan. Mm -hmm. okay and i didn't only work 40 hours 48 hours other kids were uh excuse me urinating in their beds i'd be out working okay and i got a but yeah some kids see he man i am him chema mi spesem arasi i chema you have uh i make it make pan uh shot shot pan orerin you have i lived on three hours sleep at the same time, I was student body president of Ferayan High School. At the same time, I was class president. At the same time, I was the head of the five AYF chapters and the youth movement for free independent Armenia. And I lived on three, four hours sleep. But when my day off came, I had to hibernate like a bear. You know, what? but I saved some money and I said, you know what? This family will never see this day. My dad didn't want to. I mean, after we lost Diane, my sister, my dad didn't. He, he didn't want to live, you know, as I said, and we had to bounce him out of it. So I had to kind of take over the family. So I went and I said, you know what, dad? I says, let's open. Uh, I want to open a store. He says, what kind of store? I said, a gourmet retail shop. Okay. So I said, you're going to come with me. He said, no, 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 no. I don't want any more business. I've had enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. I said, dad, this family will never see this day. Anyway, make a long story short, found a location in Sherman Oaks. 
and I wanted to open a gourmet store which had seafood, fish, seafood, deli, where I was able to cater your movies, <laughs> deli, poultry, gourmet poultry, wines, groceries from around the world. Anyway, I opened that and it was very successful. And then six months later, it was in my business plan to go into wholesale business. So I went to wholesale business, and the rest is history. Uh, what? You know, and uh, so I couldn't run for politics. Uh, I was being groomed by the Armenian community, some of the big mucky mucks. I was being groomed to go into American politics. You know why? Number one, I got a big mouth. Can you tell? Anyway, number two... Uh, Number two, I have a diploma, not a diploma. I have a, I'm born here. No. So guess what? I'm an American citizen. I'm born here no. automatically. No. Born in one of the original 13 colonies. I could run for any office. Okay. So I had to, I was a baseball player also. Like I said, I don't know how I did all this. I had to quit when my dad went into depression. I had to quit baseball. I had to quit politics. And believe it or not, that's when I opened my company. And uh, we ended up, uh, we we're a 30 year company, and uh, we were known as the Tiffany's of the seafood industry. And if, Saki, if you go into Whole Foods, which I know you've been in there, we put Whole Foods. Mrs. Gucci's Whole Foods in the seafood business. When I took them over, they had this much seafood, okay? When I ended up, they had 16 feet. Now you go look there, a lot of that is my talent. Mm -hmm. And we had accounts like, if you remember in the old days, right. used markets, Gelson's. Right. And anyway, so I went to the seafood industry, and I said, one day, I'm going to come back to politics because I was very politically involved I, I it was my love I loved it uh, I, I, I was very during 1978 79 when the great Ronald Reagan ran for president I got uh, 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 it was National Fisheries Institute which is called the NFI it's our trade group I went over and I, I was on the board at the time and I said to the board I says I know we don't endorse anybody but Carter is killing us Jimmy Carter is killing us we need to go out there and get Ronald Reagan elected so they said, Johnny, it's against us. I said, we've got to make an exception. He says, you know, the problem is that liberals eat fish too. <laughs> and I says, if Carter stays in office, they're going to eat something else, okay? And we're all going to be out of business, I said. So anyway, so they chose me as uh, I became like the seafood industry liaison and I went to the meat industry, poultry industry I got the endorsement for the Reagan uh, for uh, to become president and the rest is history huh? you know and uh, it, it was really great days you know and but I stayed very politically involved for example today they've chased all our boats away when this state was being run by Duke Majin, let me throw that in, American Armenian, we had the greatest fisheries, San Luis Obispo, Monterey, Eureka. Now what's happened, all of these leftists have chased all the boats out of here. Some boats have gone south, Sarkis, some boats have gone north. They fish in either Canada and Mexico, and they sell for an expensive price here, back here. Doesn't make sense. Huh? They've killed a lot of our fisheries. Uh, what, uh, what other question you have for me? Well, some other time we're going to continue. This is just the start, you know. Oh, that's not good. You have so much to talk about it, you know. We, did, we didn't have well, an hour or one hour. We can't uh, go over it. Folks, this man's story is fascinating. Actually, like I said, for my kids also, 
I wanted them. They were born here, of course, like me. Uh, and if we wanted that culture. Saki gave a lot of culture to us. And you know what? He had he had a nice variety show. I mean, Teletime was a variety show. One day you'd have something sad. One day you'd have something uh, like when Levon Kartuchian sang. Ye puri ki yer kumer ar sumnere ka achkeri smet. Shat who's village yer kicha. Anyway. Uh, pun. And one day was happy, one day comedians, but it kept us going. Huh. If you want to relive it and see our future shows, Sarki's future shows, and uh, please go to our YouTube channel. When I say our YouTube channel, I'm family with Sarki's, so I can say that. Huh. And go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, 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 like our Facebook page. And don't be left back. Believe me, he's got some real feel-good stuff on there. And Saki, I want to thank you thank for you. all you've done well, for the diaspora. And, yeah. how, and more you're going to do the next 10, 20 years. We will, we will. Yeah, i, I got to tell you that. And you know what? Bringing people like Kenny on, like Barbara and John, all these people, uh, I like it. Uh, you know, these people... They they were they've done a lot for the community. Uh, you know, Barbara worked hard during our free and independent Armenian movement. Uh, you know, she didn't mention that. Yeah, I know. Well, but I, I, but they worked hard, yeah. and uh, you know, it was it was an, a really interesting segment. And also with Kenny, his parents, you, you heard about his parents. Yeah. They came in the 40s, too. Yeah, yeah. They came from, like, the German camps, what they call DPs. DPs yeah. But anyway, I want to thank you for having no me problem, today. Sir. And uh, to be continued. To be continued. <laughs> and, hey, anytime you want to take a vacation, I'll cover for you. How's that? Okay, very well. But if, nice. if I really make each high end course, yes, you if there may be shot on the end course at him, but it's got to me, we're going to get Kaniat non high gaga course between the high school. For them, you know, I'm I'm out yeah, there. Yeah, could I tell me what kind of who we are like chores like which? Yeah. yeah. So okay. maybe Muse on come and some come. You're going to soon hit the course. New Jersey. Anglerin kozeti. Miusan kan? Hagar hagar. Hagar hagar. Yotanasun ingdogos. Hayeren. Pilav hayerenes. So thank you for having me, sir. Thanks. I love it anytime. Hayrettab. Hargeliti doğder. Şuraya kalıyorum. Miçev açortan kan.